All right, people. So this is just gonna be like a pretty quick video. Hopefully the lighting is not ass. The lighting is probably ass because it's raining right now. But um, I'm on my way to the gun shop. I'll probably give you guys a couple clips of it, but it's not a gun shop that has like a high volume of things. So it's really not too much to see. But anyhow, yeah, I was supposed to go to actually first. I was supposed to go to another one, but it closed at six and not seven, which is stupid. Like, why would you close at six? Hey, dear, me blood clap, bomb, get off that road. But anyhow, um, so yeah. I was supposed to be going to another one. It closed at six, which is stupid. So I have to go to this one because, yeah. But um, I just have some questions mainly, and then I'm going to see if I could get to the other one tomorrow. But this video is about why I sold the silver E36 and how much I got for it, how much profit I made, and how I did it. Usually, I don't give free game like this. I usually don't give this type of game at all because it may make people do it. But people are not me, so they're not going to be able to do the same thing they would just have to apply it to something that they know and things they can find so <clears throat> now then so i purchased the 36 for five thousand dollars which was not a bad price at all because it was fully built it was a pretty well sorted track car back roads daily pretty rough of a car but you know it was a very well sorted vehicle so um, I bought it, flew out to Ohio. So I messaged a guy on Friday. No, was it Friday? Maybe Thursday. So I messaged a guy on Thursday. Um, I told him I was gonna buy it. I put a deposit down. It was like 50 or 100 bucks, nothing crazy. Um, then I video chatted him Saturday. He showed me the car, he drove it around. Um, and then I booked my flight Saturday, like while we were on the phone to ohio and i flew out there on tuesday picked up the car drove back slept at my uncle's house in buffalo new york and then i came back on wednesday so um yeah um i bought the car because i was like yeah i already know what purposes can serve what it comes with and everything like that this will be good for me plus i need some extra cash flow stuff like that so this was pretty much plan well this was a secondary plan but my initial plan was to do what i did which i did so i basically manifested it regardless everybody manifest only positivity speak only positivity into your life and your future you already know what the fuck going on but yeah um so i drove the car home it was great i got an oil change like the next day or two days after whatever um after the oil change you know i enjoyed the car drove it around you guys saw a bunch of 360 videos and driving videos impressions um during my ownership since i liked the car so much i did plan to do some things with like itbs and everything so i bought headers audi r8 audi r8 coil packs and a couple other things um some i was going to use for the dacker some i was going to use for this car but um yeah i had a plan for it but all in all i knew that i wanted to do what i'm trying to do now so i bought that car basically as an investment and the main point of this video is if you know a car, if you know a something, you can buy that thing, enjoy it, and sell it, and make money on it in the future, or have owned it for free. So through the ownership of the vehicle, I made little changes, like I switched the exhaust and I sold it. I bought another exhaust for cheap, but it was a better, lighter exhaust, so all in all, it made the track car better. Um, couple other things, like I bought a couple things, I sold a couple little parts, so all in all, I believe I was only $2,500 into the vehicle. So, um, yeah, give me one, actually give me a second. Okay, so yeah, I was only like $2,500 into the vehicle. So that means I bought a fully built 323i track car, the Moto IQ build, which again, I'll leave the link below because this is actually the website and build that I used to build my first C36 or that I used to plan my first C36 like this swap and what parts I should get and stuff like that because originally I did want like a built um supercharged E36 whatever but um anyhow that's that's for another day but um so yeah so basically I was only into the car for $2,500 um because remember, I also sold a set of wheels, so that offset not only the cost of the car, but it offset the cost of the flight and registration, insurance, everything like that. So again, I was only $2,500 into the car, if maybe less, but I'm saying $2,500 because it may, uh, it may 
actually be only like 1500 but I'm gonna say 2500 so yeah um so after this time um I, I the vehicle wasn't registered because I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it so I drove it around for a while and I was like eh I'm gonna sell it because I want to do what I'm planning right now so I did that and um so I listed it well I had it listed like for feelers but I didn't really put much info or a price or anything a couple of people hit me up but I know how to make a for sale listing so it wasn't anything because I didn't want people to be blowing up my phone for like two weeks or three weeks however long ago I um, put that up that post was mainly to sell parts which it did again if you're listening to what I'm saying I'm just giving you guys some sauce because these are some pretty great sales tips because well online sales tips because this is what I do to pay my bills which is why most of the time I don't work for anybody I work for myself but yeah um so yeah I did that and I listed the vehicle and I listed it in a way that I know it would sell because I just know how to do this and I sold the car in 40 minutes maybe an hour but I believe it was 40 minutes like the guy decided to buy and made arrangements to come see the thing within 40 minutes of me actually putting the listing up so he did that he picked up the car Saturday or Sunday I forget which day it was and he cashed me out wait for it seven grand so yeah all in all yeah made some good money on the car and yeah and then i also sold the spare parts and stuff like that so in total it was nine thousand dollars so remember i was twenty five hundred dollars into the car and i got back basically nine thousand because the parts that i sold and stuff like that and the cost of the wheels and everything factored in so i was literally with all the parts twenty five hundred dollars into the car and i got nine thousand and that means that i made if my math is mathing uh sixty five hundred dollars profit and i bought the car i believe in july so that was two months ago two months and change it was 10 weeks so basically i made sixty five hundred dollars in 10 weeks and that is profit not only is it profit but it is i owned a car I enjoyed it I made content with it I found the benchmark of a vehicle like because now no e36 that I own in the future can be anything less than that from the suspension to how rigid the chassis is and everything the handling all that even uh, even the decker that's on bags even though I'm probably gonna sell it but um yeah uh, even that one it's going to have to handle the same and drive the same because the silver e36 was a monster of a car handling wise like it wasn't that fast it wasn't fast but yeah it was just such a solid car so now no e36 and feel like that because I mean can feel any less because it really felt like the e92 m3 like you can be at high speeds you can take a corner doing um, 80, 90, doing on the off ramps and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like it was just such a solid car. The E92 M3, that's one thing about it. It's a very solid car. Like it, you can feel that it's on the ground. So yeah, like I can't settle for anything less if I ever have anything else. So yeah, I basically own my dream my dream e36 build like because i had this thing saved and i always wanted something just like it so i bought my dream e36 and i made sixty five hundred dollars profit during the ownership of it who but i is doing such a thing i'm pretty sure there's people doing that on a way grander scale like people who buy like a venadors for like 400 grand and now you're making seven hundred and fifty that that'll be me one day so I'm just, you know, learning with a cheaper thing. It's like I'm going through the college process. And that will be like when I have my doctorate in car flippery. But, um, yeah. It's the end of the video. Okay, so this place actually has a vector in stock. So the drive was definitely worth it. So, um...